Now we're going to show some of the ways that, uh, additionally, this helps to meet accessibility requirements. So I'm going to take some content here, and we're just going to grab some Epson so we have something to play with. Uh, we're going to take this, we're going to make it bold, and then we're going to make this bold. We're going to offset it, which is a no-no. Um, we're going to go into the source. Now, you can edit things from source. And I can go into you know, this strong tag, and I can say style equals um, background color, and then so this is going to give it a red background. Right? That's hideous. <laughs> um, but now I've done this, okay, and so the reason the editor doesn't allow things like that out of the box is again for accessibility concerns. Um, but so let's save the page to see what happens. So save and say, hey, paragraphs should not be used for headings. And so that's complaining about this. So they, that's another common thing I've noticed with some of uh, uh, our content in the past. So take this and say, well, it's not strong anymore. We're going to make it an H2 because that's what it's supposed to be. And we want it to be a little bit smaller H2, so we'll make it H2 small. Okay, problem solved. Save the page. And it still says paragraphs must not be used for headers because I have this wrapped in paragraphs still, unfortunately. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to move it from that block of text there. And let it save. So you do cause some major problems when you do you know, bolding things over and over and over again. And that's what it's still complaining about. So let's drop the, the strong aspect of it. too small. Still with the background. Now, it didn't bring that background through, and that's important. Um, there's an additional layer of scrubbing going on in the system, which is something called HTML purifier. Um, and now this starts to get a little bit more on the developer side, but it's very important to understand that this is going on. If I view the, t the body of this page, so I view you know, what the output was. You'll see it's this Elms 3 header, and then there's strong, but I did write background properties in there. Um, with HTML Purifier, I can define what's allowed to go through. And so we can basically remove all inline styles, because a lot of times inline styles are generated from Word. Uh, you know, from pacing from Word, it'll generate inline styles. That wasn't really the point of bringing that stuff in. So this has both accessibility and stylistic implications. Um, if you can't background, you know, put backgrounds on the content that we don't define, then we know you're not putting something like that with the, the red text. So that is a stylistic concern. But also, if it was, you know, red text on green, um, now you're starting to get into accessibility concerns with uh, colorblind users. So by way of making this content look the same as what the output would be, or it's getting much closer. If you do a, uh, you know, Control A, select all, or Command A, um, and then I'll hit this button to scrub. That's going to remove all of those inline styles, and so now I'm guaranteed to have a product, if you will, that's much closer to what the output should be. Another thing that this is doing is you'll see there's a, an empty paragraph container there. Um, and now we'll go back into viewing this material. There should be an empty paragraph container above this is uh, H2 for the header, but it removes that. So another thing, another rule, if you will, is if there's something that's empty, it needs to be removed. Um, and this has you know both structural, stylistic, accessibility types of things to it that you're not offsetting paragraphs just purely for spacing. You're not supposed to just space things for the sake of spacing them. And so. Because of the, you know, because of this kind of catch-all concern, you'll see we have very consistent spacing between our lines. Um, so this allows, you know, this is this gets into print design types of uh, considerations, so that material that's output by the system will just kind of look better than material that's not, <laughs> or at least as a default state. Um, so we can go, all right, scrub that. This is heading two. We can just remove that entirely, and now we're back to you know just our paragraphs, which are nicely formatted. They will always look the same way, regardless of the theme. Now themes can react to them locally and make changes, but you know because we're ripping out elements that shouldn't be there, we're pretty much guaranteeing it's standardized.